Welcome back to our 10th anniversary special. Since the fall of 2003, over 5,000 guests have appeared on Triad Today, and most of them were not politicians or Hollywood celebrities. Most were involved with education, health care, job training, and other vital services that help ensure a better quality of life for all of us. Across our industry, on average, a nurse in a 12-hour shift is spending about two hours a day during that shift with a patient. We want to increase that number to eight and a half or nine hours. There's been an independent analysis done, Jim, that shows that this will create about 20,000 additional jobs, add over a billion dollars to the GDP of the state, and actually add to the tax revenue. You're talking about if the Medicare money flows the way it's Medicaid, supposed to. Medicaid. Medicaid money is... If the Medicaid is expanded in North Carolina. Tell us again uh, what hospice care is and who it's for. Um, Mountain Valley Hospice, we care for terminal ill patients and their families. Most of the patients are in their homes, but we do have a facility as well in Dobson's. Our main focus is on training people, and that includes retraining. A lot of people have to change fields nowadays. There's our careers and transition program that focuses on the middle manager and the executives. Uh, we have our HID training. Uh, we're starting up an analytics class uh, because we know analytics is, is, is the work of the future. So there's a lot of different things we're doing down at the Urban League, but not only are we doing job training, we're doing job placement. The need for food in North Carolina is up about 50%, but in our 18 counties, the increased need for food is up over 100%. Uh, so we've gone from serving 135,000 people through our network just four years ago to over 300,000 today, and sadly, about 100,000 of those are children. I think cost is going to force us at the higher education level to take a serious look at the current model of educating students. The third challenge for us is how can we get our institutions to become more entrepreneurial, to look at alternative sources of revenue, sure. and to be able to more quickly respond to changing demands. Well, in 2005-2006, our graduation rate was 68%. And that was not unlike a lot of the states. That's correct. And now? And now it is over 80%. So we have grown approximately 12 points in our graduation rate. And while most of our guests spoke of progress made, others reminded us of just how far we still need to go, especially in eliminating racism and prejudice. Guests like Elaine Riddick, who along with 7,000 other North Carolinians, was sterilized against her will and has led the fight for compensation. People say, well, uh, you know, why should my taxes go for that? I didn't own slaves. Why should my taxes go uh, to give a check to sterilization victims? I didn't sterilize her. What do you say? Well, unfortunately, you don't know. This is what you think. You don't know where your tax monies came from, along with the uh, supporters of the sterilization victims. Your tax money did pay for victims to become sterilized. And then there was Daryl Hunt, who spent nearly 20 years behind bars for a crime he did not commit. Today, he crusades for others who have been wrongfully accused. You yeah. tell me you didn't harbor any ill feelings to anybody. You're in there almost 20 years. I mean, what was going through your mind? Well, human nature, you, 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 you become angry or whatever, but I relied on my faith. Um, and I truly believe that if you say you believe in God and you really believe in God, then you let God handle the difficult problems. And we learned why a civil rights museum was badly needed. We wanted to make sure that what happened there in February the 1st, 1960, would not be forgotten. The sit-in by the, the sit led by the four very distinguished and four courageous students men. that sat down at the Woodworths uh, lunch counter from North Carolina A&T State University. When they sat down, the rest of America stood up. We wanted generations yet unborn to be able to know about that story. We will continue with our 10th anniversary special right after this. <laughs>